hello guys welcome back so in this section we will work on the home screen so for that purpose let's just close all these okay I'm going to create a new folder right click on lib new directory and let's give it name as home right click on home new dot file and let's create our screen home screen home underscore screen import the material dot dot start full widget and we will give it name as home screen for now we will just display a message in the body of the screen so at the center of the screen we can say child text widget and this will be our as you know this home screen will be basically the dashboard for all the other pages okay just like you guys see in the uh, real TikTok application so this home screen will act as a dashboard screen you can say so yeah you can say home screen or dashboard screen just for now okay just for the testing purposes now the important thing that we have to do is basically to control the stat of the user that is if the user is already logged in then we have to send the user to the home screen or you can say to the to this dashboard screen otherwise if the user is not already logged in then the user will be on the login screen that is automatically this feature will be this will be working like this okay so we have we have to of course write the code for it to control the state of the user so for that purpose we have our authentication controller and what we are going to do is we are going to implement a method for that so what I'm going to do here I can implement a method and I will simply give it name as go to screen that is according to the user state now what it means is we will check that is this user okay firebase or dot dot according to the user state as I told you that is if the user is already logged in so we will send the user to the home screen otherwise if the user is not already logged in then in that case we will send the user to the login screen so for example we can just check current user if the current user if this become equals to null it simply means that the user is not logged in so what we will do in that case we can simply say get dot of all and the page is login screen okay let me tell you this is the case when user is not already logged in when user is not already logged in then we will send the user to the login screen in order to log in okay otherwise if the user is already logged in so we can say and the user is already logged in however this one is not already logged in so when the user is already logged in as you know we will send the user to the home screen and then the default method in flutter which is basically on ready which simply means that whenever this authentication controller is called from the login screen or you can say from the registration screen whenever it is called then this method will execute and whatever the code we write inside here it will just execute it automatically that is for example in here what we are going to do is we are going to call over this go to screen method so what we will do we will simply say that let create an instance of the user so we can say rx user and let's give it name as underscore current user underscore current user and now what we can do is inside the on ready we can simply say 
RX user and we can get the current user state you from using the Firebase auth instance okay it basically help us you already know that it help us in getting the current user state that is either the user is already logged in or if the user is not already logged in okay so we can just say Firebase auth dot instance dot current user by writing this piece of code we just get the current user state so that state we have to assign to our variable which is underscore current user and then whenever any changes occur let's say the user press the sign out button then we have to basically bind this current user okay bind stream for this current user that is whenever the auth state changes let's say the user sign out from the app or let's say the user sign in again okay it will basically handle the user current state either the user is logged in or not okay so we can just say that underscore current user dot bind stream firebase auth dot instant dot auth state changes so whenever the state changes it will just get the updated state and then we can say our listener is basically our current user that is inside this variable we are we have the state that is either the user is logged in or the user is not logged in so this is our listener and then the callback will be our screen our this method where we checking that is if the user is not already logged in then send the user to the login screen otherwise send the user to the home screen so we have to call this method so we can say go to screen and yeah that's it so in this way using the get stat management we manage the user current state that is either the user is currently logged in or not let's say if the user state changes let's say if the user click on the sign out button then automatically the state will be assigned that is using this current user we can recognize that that as you know it is listening that for that state that is either the user is going to log out from the app or let's say the user is going to log in into the app so basically in this way using the get stat management we can handle the user stat so once you do this now the important thing is as you know that on our login screen where we have basically in here okay the method which is for login user now that is after the successful login you do not need to write this here okay that is get dot to registration screen okay because our getx state management is already handling that situations it is already handling the user current state and according to that it will automatically take decision that is if the user is already logged in or if the user is not already logged in okay as you can see so that's why remove that from here okay and similarly in our registration which is create account for new user when the user account is created successfully there is no need to write here this get dot to login screen as I told you we have already implemented the code for it in order to that is we are managing the state of the current user we are controlling that already using the get stat management so it will automatically take the decision according to the uh, current user state okay as it is listening as it is a listener so yeah let's just install the app on our phone so when the app runs it automatically send us to the home screen or you can say to the dashboard screen because in the previous video you know that we allow the user to sign in successfully that is the user were, were already logged in you I hope you remember that okay so that's why it is automatically logged in now just for the testing purposes I'm going to delete this old app from my phone okay I uninstall the TikTok clone from my phone in order to check it okay if it is working successfully or not so I just install the app again on my phone so the app is running now okay and now I'm going to log in so I will just log in 
using Peter Parker account okay and now when I click on login then it will basically allow me to log in as you can see logged in successful and I'm automatically sent to the home screen even though from the login user that is after successful login we have not write any code here which will basically send us to the login screen of course we are writing the professional code that is we are managing the user stat we are managing the user stat using the get stat management and it automatically handle the current user stat that is when the user is not already logged in we will be on the login screen otherwise we will be on the home screen for example as you know I am logged in currently so if I close the app okay and if I open up the app again it will automatically send me to the home screen because I'm currently logged in now so the else statement is executing because the current stat of the user is already logged in okay so at the moment let's say when we will have when we will implement the sign out button of course that is something which we will do in the upcoming videos so until unless the user change click on the sign out button when the user click on the sign out button then it will recognize that is the firebase auth that is the current user stat will be changed that is the auth stat whenever the auth stat changes according to that it will take the decision that is then when the user click on the sign out button the auth stand will be changed and it will know that okay now the user is not already logged in then it will automatically send us to the login screen whenever the user click on the sign out button so that is so simple and so easy and this is the beauty of Flutter GetX stat management because GetX help us in writing efficient code.